In this training video, we're going to cover summary tasks in Microsoft Project. So we want, in this example, advertising to be a summary task to cover plan advertising, design job packs, and organize advertising. So we're going to highlight all three tasks, and I tend to highlight tasks from the, the task number area. So four, five, and six. On the task tab, in the schedule section of the ribbon, you can then choose the option indent task. This will then produce a summary task. And there's a summary. Advertising produces a summary of three days because the longest duration right now, they're not linked yet. But at this point in time, the longest duration now is three days. Now I might want to produce another summary task for the interview phase. So we want the interview phase to include four tasks. Now let's say we accidentally only included three tasks. And we indent. Now saying that that's not correct, we needed the fourth one to be included. To get rid of the summary task, you highlight the tasks inside the summary task and then outdent from the schedule section of the task tab. Now I'm going to highlight the four that I want and then produce the indent. And here we go. Now what you'll notice is the durations at present are showing the longest durations of the tasks within the semi-task. People might say, well, that's not always going to be the case. Well, it won't, because when you link the tasks together, these summaries now will give you different durations. So really, if I could link them and they go one after another, these tasks. So if I look at, for example, advertising, if the tasks go one after each other, so you go to plan advertising, then you design job packs, then you organize advertising, well, that's be an accumulated total of seven days. So when you link them together, advertising will show seven, Interview phase won't show 10 days when they're linked. It'll show 10 for first interview, 6 for second, so 16 days, and one more for select applicant. So we're going to see this change now by linking all the tasks together. So to do this, I'm going to highlight the whole of the table area in project. And I'm just going to click, the, click on the chain to, to link everything together. And now we can see that advertising has now changed to seven days, three plus three plus one. And the interview phase is now updated to 17 days, which gives it the 10 plus the six plus the one. Now you can display these summary tasks. You can also, on the format tab, hide the summary tasks. If you ever wanted to hide them, you can hide them, but then you'll see gaps in your project. So you don't see often, often see this, but you could, and that's the semi tasks back on. So this completes the training video on adding summary tasks to a project and also correcting a summary task if you miss out tasks and you need to reset the summary task. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.